at the skies. It is an awesome venue, Canada Olympic Park. You can see the Canada Sports Hall of Fame on your right. You'll find us at Winsport, the Scotties. And our feature this morning is Quebec taking on Team Saskatchewan. Come on inside the building. Glad you're watching our coverage right here on TSN. Brian Mudrick, Joanne Courtney, Kathy Goche with you. So it is day four at the Scotties. Joe, what have you seen thus far? I think the story so far, Brian, is draw weight. We've seen some teams struggling with zeroing in, missing by wider margins than we would expect. First team to sort that out is going to be looking really good as the week progresses. And I think the other surprise for me, Brian, is that we're on day four we're having a conversation about when will Caitlin Laws win and what's happening with Kristen McCarvel. There's some young guns in this field, and a really nice story is out of the Yukon and Bailey Scoffin here for the first time on the left. She's just 21 years old. She goes to school in Calgary at State, and she took oh. Kate Cameron to the limit last night. A lot of fan support for Yukon in the crowd. Oh, Kate Cameron go. had to make this go. draw to secure the win in 10, and she did. But for young Bailey Scoff in her first ever game of the Scotties versus the great Jennifer Jones, and then a good game last night. Could not get the win, though. And a good job by Manitoba handshakes and a 6-5 final there. Melissa Adams, who won a Canadian junior back in the day in Calgary, a 7-5 win over Northwest Territories and Team Galusha. Jennifer Jones, we know it's her final Scotties. She wins by seven chasing after her seventh Scotties title all time. And Daniel Inglis a win, 11-6 over Team Nova Scotia. As we check your updated standings, so the top three from each side will qualify for the playoffs. We're focusing this morning on Pool A. Alberta Sturme, awesome start. How about Saskatchewan, 3-0 as well. And Laurie St. George and Quebec, 1-1 as well. And that will set up our feature. So, Kathy, when you look at this field, obviously there's a lot of the greats here that have done it for a long time, and Jennifer Jones and Carrie Anderson and Rachel Holman. However, they all started at some point as a young team and as a young player, and this Ackerman team has been outstanding from Saskatchewan. Well, and it gives us all hope. We always talk about La La Rev. What is the next generation? Who is it? And in this young woman and this team, at 22 years of age, she is showing such poise. They're having so much fun. I talked to one of the dads last night. Joe, he says they're playing with house money. Yeah, and the thing I love about this team is they've given up some big ends. They've gave up fours in their first two games, still end up winning. They don't get down on themselves. They're so immersed in the moment and just loving every minute of it. Meantime for Quebec, we know that Marie-France LaRouche is into this game, and Laurie St. George is also Joe, one of these young players coming up. Yeah, and that's another quality that Laurie has, is she very much loves the moment and has always has a chance to upset at the Scotties. They wanted to improve their team this year and improve their chances, bringing in Jamie Sinclair, but today we're told that Marie-France LaRouche is in. And that is significant to me. Marie France has that presence. She knows how to win, and she's going to help Laurie because last year she won the Provincials with her. She's a former Canadian junior champ, won a silver medal at the Scotties as well back in the day. The last time Saskatchewan, by the way, won the Scotties was in 2011. Amber Holland was the skip. Amber Holland is here with this young team as a mentor and as an alternate. First rock next from Calgary. The field is amazing and I love seeing that because it pumps you up to play your games, you know. There's no easy games, that for sure. We have a really strong team. This year we worked so hard together and we are really on the same page. We have so much support back home. Being that it's like our provincial sport, it's unreal how many of our family and friends are coming out to cheer us on and it's going to be pretty electric out there and to see the sea of green is going to be pretty amazing.
2024 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is presented by Scotty's Facial Tissue. Unleash the Scotties. By Home Hardware, here's how. By PointsBet, the official sports gaming partner of Curling Canada. And by BKT Tires, growing together. It is Ackerman St. George for our feature this morning. Kathy Goche, tee us up for the rest of this morning's action. Well, Jane DiCarlo from PEI is taking on Krista McCarville from Northern Ontario. Krista McCarville has to win if she's going to be in the picture. The battle of the winless teams, Stacey Curtis, you know, a little bit of a slow start, but Caitlin Law is what has happened. And then a big battle between Corinne Brown of BC and Carrie Anderson coming off a big loss last night, looking to flip it around. Lots to focus on this morning at Winsport. It is time to meet the teams in our feature, brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how. We'll begin with Team Saskatchewan out of the Nutana Curling Club in Saskatoon. It is Skyler Ackerman, Ashley Tivano, Taylor Stremick, and Kaylin Skinner rounding out your team there. And for Team Quebec, Laurie St. George lead Kelly Madaw, second Emily Riley. At third, coming into the lineup this morning is Marie France LaRouche, the two time medalist at the Scotties, and your skip is Laurie St. George. Jamie Sinclair was brought onto this team. She Spent time competing for the United States and now representing Team Quebec. She's on the bench this morning and the draw to the button always critical and won this morning by Team Quebec. So to kick things off, our feature this morning at the Scotties featuring two great young teams trying to make some noise this year in Calgary led by the lead, Kaylin Skinner. And I'm both teams, Ryan, place. won't be very happy with those draw like? for hammer numbers. Always happy to win the hammer, obviously, if you're Team Quebec, but those numbers matter a lot at the end of the week. There are no tiebreakers this year, as we've been talking about, and if there is a tie, we'll look at head-to-head -head first between those two teams, but if there's a three-way tie and you can't break it looking at head-to-head, -head, it will go to the last stone draw results. Two of the worst last stone draws will be tossed out, though, at the end of the week. It's always just a little nerve-wracking. If you get a long distance early, it feels like you really have to dial in and ups the pressure for the rest of the week. Kelly Madaw right on the nose for Team Quebec, and that is a household name in curling as Kelly's parents, Wayne and Sherry. Yeah, not surprised here to see Team Quebec happy that Saskatchewan went into the rings. With Mary Frost being in for the game, it's her first game, first end of the, of the event, so she'll be happy to be able to settle in and get comfortable. Emily Riley, yep, 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 yep. part of the front end of this team as well. We talked about Jamie yep. Sinclair. Yep. Great to have yep. Laurie St. George having, Kathy, that Good leadership job. of a player okay. on this Quebec team of Marie-France LaRouche. What can she bring to this team, Kathy? Well, she certainly brings the experience. And one of the things when you're maybe not playing well that this team can do is She's so light, you see that. That's very much the personality of Lori, but they also won the province together last year. And she's been with the team now for two years. Jamie was a great addition, but sometimes when you're struggling, it's really good to go back to what brought you some success. Yeah. Interesting, I Quebec opting to throw the inside out turn for these takeouts. Typically, you'll see teams go outside in, a little bit more predictable, but I have to think they probably have a good idea of where to put the broom for those hits, and they're just getting a read on what the other spots are doing. Fourth Scotty's appearance for Emily Riley. Larry St. George and parts of this team in Kamloops last year, a five and four record. She spun back at the end. It looked like that rock was going to leave the rings, but fresh pebble usually to start the games. Caught a bit of that and spun back. Nine! Easy! Easy nine! Clean! Nine! Clean! Nine! Kaylin! Hard, Kaylin! Right over! Hard to stick! Hard to stick! Great Really nice. Okay. 
Let's start with our keys to the game, and Joe will be begin with Team Quebec. Yeah, if you're Laurie St. George, you want to lean on the legend. She was so thrilled to have Mary France on her team, looked up to her for a long time in juniors. So we'll be using that experience, and team continue, continually needs to focus on Laurie's light. When your skip can keep it light and stay in their ideal performance state, it just bleeds through to the rest of the team. And Team Saskatchewan. Yeah, for Skylar Ackerman and company, they've got Amber Holland at fifth. So using their fifth sense and, and focusing on what Amber is saying, I had the opportunity to play with her as a fifth at my first trials, and she was great with that experience. And for them, the Skyler is the limit. Skyler has just been outstanding wow. this week. She's one of those resilient players, really, really strong hitter. So continue, just let your skip go. Keys to the game brought to you by Sponge Towels, Paper Towels. Nothing absorbs like it. Russ is nodding, Joe. <laughs> he is nodding and going, that is a very good one. He, so he's, let's be honest, it's, he's nodding off. <laughs> happy birthday, Russ. Yes, happy birthday, Russ Howard. Let's keep a broom down. Doesn't look a day oh, over 89, so <laughs> congratulations to our guy. This is a dream start for Marie France. She gets a free draw here. Talked about how it's been a bit of a struggle for teams to dial in on. So when you can get one under your belt first end with zero pressure, that's always a wonderful thing. Marie France, LaRouche winning a bronze medal at the Scotties in Victoria back in 2009. And a silver medal, and that was in Alberta, in Red Deer, just up the highway north here of Calgary. A 10 and four record that year. Great experience at this championship. Well, maybe that's a good omen, Joe. Last time in the playoffs, 2012, and that woman right there was a big part of the reason why. Yeah, that's a big goal for this team from Quebec. They've had a number of Scotty's appearances under their belts already at such a young age. You can only assume that they'll continue to grow, and this might be the change that will make the difference this week. One Scotty's title all time for Quebec, and that was Back in 1975, yeah, when it was the, still the Canadian Women's Curling Championship, Scotty's coming on board back in 1982 with town. Kruger's yeah. sponsorship, the 43rd season now of the Scotties. Here is the young gun skip for Team Saskatchewan. Scott or Ackerman? In the Scotties era, at least, the youngest skip to come out of that province. Kathy. This is going to feel like a home game and week for Saskatchewan. They've had a ton of fan support and a lot of green in the house here at Winsport. So Alberta also off to a wonderful start. Selena Sturme out of Edmonton. So both teams are 3-0 and to start a Scotties for the first time since 1995. That was a special year for many reasons. It was also in Calgary. Those two teams, by the way, Sherry Anderson and Kathy King. And that year, Kathy, do you remember who happened to win the Scotties? Kathy Goche. Yes, <laughs> with Connie Lalaverde. What do you remember about that year? Uh, it was great. It was um, it was the Max Bell Center. It was full. It was so exciting. And Kathy King had so much support. Uh, it was just a really wonderful event. I'm so glad that it is back in this city, and not in a bubble setting, but in a setting where the fans can be here because they have really supported this event so far. Yeah, and just to add, I had the 
pleasure of playing in this building, obviously in the bubble. We were just so thrilled to be able to compete in that time. But a Continental Cup was held here in 2015, and the crowds were fantastic. There's a low roof in this venue, so it gets really loud on the ice, and that's so much fun when you're in these tight games. Windsport also recently hosting the Pan Continental Curling Championship. Really lovely facility, just about a 20 minute drive, depending on traffic, obviously, of downtown Calgary. Or if Kathy's driving, hey. 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, okay, I was gonna say, <laughs> which way are you going? <laughs> <laughs> really close. Little soft. Top more. Curling I'm early. Okay. Top eight. Curling early. Top eight. Curling go. Just the wing first go. end. We don't see go a lot go. of play in the middle in the pregame practice. Everyone gotta focused go. on that draw for hammer. Gotta go. Gotta go. Sometimes need a bit of extra weight to make the rings. And getting caught in that fresh line for Skylar Ackerman. That weight probably would have been close if she had been coming towards the button. Just curled a little early on them, got into some fresh stuff, and you pay the price. It's interesting too, Joe. Ackerman missed the rings in the draw to the yep, button before the end. So obviously still trying to find the groove with draw weight. And that was one of the things you both talked about off the top of the broadcast. What have you been watching? What have you seen so far? It's day four and that's draw weight for teams. Yeah, you expect to see some learning in the first few days and teams will really start to zero in now. So a chance for Louis St. George to pick a spot, broom down and test the ice in a certain path. She'll throw it through. We are underway on this Monday in Calgary. Glad you're with us for the Scotties. We'll step aside.
Welcome back to our feature here at the Scotties on this Monday morning at Winsport in Calgary and a couple of young gun teams trying to break through and make the playoffs. Top three in each pool will qualify for championship weekend. Skyder Ackerman, Larissa St. George, blank on the board, play underway here in two. And for this Saskatchewan team, wide-eyed Joe, lots of excitement, first ever Scotties and kind of an interesting story when we arrive, it's sort of media day on Thursday for TSN and the skips will come in and have their sit down interview and get ready and the entire Saskatchewan team wanted to come in and hang out because, you know, it's a big deal. It's the lights, it's the glitz and kind of got us talking about memory lane and your first and that was in Montreal actually back in 2014, I believe. Yeah, it's just, it's a surreal experience. It's something that you, you dream of for so long and it truly means you've made it when you're playing amongst the best like this, but there's so many things and so many moving parts at this event. And particularly for me, it's when you're watching these athletes on the ice, they have a microphone right in their face, every single thing they say, and you're aware that people can hear exactly what you're saying. And that's that can be hard. You're, you're thinking before you're speaking and, and trying to settle in. And it's they've handled it so well. This is their first feature game and they look really comfortable out there. We, uh, before our first Scotties, we actually had a, a swear jar on our team to make sure that the language was cleaned up. I'm not going to tell you how much money made it in at practice. <laughs> we had that for Kathy, her first yeah, two seasons as well, and uh, I'm going to I'm gonna buy a house in Italy. Why are you like that? I know. You know what, we've been together a lot. We've lasted Kathy more than most marriages, you realize that? That is true, which is why I'm not getting married again. <laughs> Certainty okay. for Marie France already leaning on that. There's a little bit of a debate to use that corner with the hammer or come to the middle. And Marie said, you know, if we make a good one around the corner, they're just going to come around the middle. So let's go there first. The Kathy, you saw that note, and obviously they'll turn that around here, but. Playing with the hammer, I mean, how do you get it going? How do you get that confidence going here early in this event? Well, sometimes I think that the assumption is that people aren't using the hammer well, but if, you, if you're in a situation where you want to blank, you're not given credit for a conversion because you haven't. But it has also been a little bit uh, of an open sort of style. Uh, they haven't found their footing. And I think that the risk of looking at something like that and trying to change what you do well is that you put yourself out of your comfort zone. Teams out here really don't care about those numbers. They're just trying to do what the team is ready to do. And if that's not be aggressive, then it's not aggressive. Yeah, and to that point, Kathy, those numbers are really good for teams after the event when they're looking and seeing what they want to improve on, where they're stacking up with the field and working on game plans and practice plans. But you're exactly right. In the moment, you're just trying to put shots together and get wins on the board. It's a beautiful come around there. Do you see any of it? And Taylor Stremick. So a few draws come heavy this end. It was a little bit slower last night if the teams had tuned in, but usually in a morning draw on arena ice, you'll see it be a little bit quicker. Building fully cooled down overnight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Clean, clean, just clean. Yeah. Emily Riley. Good. Good, Em. Removes the red stone. Kathy, we get bios on a lot of the players and their experience thus far. And the one thing when you look at the Saskatchewan team is the U25 Next Gen Classic. What is that for our viewers at home? So Curling Canada has done a really great job of trying to find ways to help different age groups. It used to be you were either a U21, which we used to call the juniors, or you were in the Scotties or the Briar. And that is a big difference. So now there's a U16, there's a U18. And then they also recognize that once people finish the U21 juniors, there is a gap often to get to the skill level that you need to be competitive and win a Scotties or a Briar. So they have a U25 event once a year that really targets the teams that were successful at juniors, that are trying to segue themselves into men's and women. And it gives them an opportunity, a platform 
to rise to the occasion. There's money associated with it. There's some training associated with it. And it's a progression step so that we can see those people sooner than later at this kind of level. Now these lineup changes have changed a little bit in the last four or five years now, Kathy. You used to see teams pick up a, someone fresh out of juniors and kind of mold them and help yes. build their experience. That's, I think of Caitlin Laws with Jennifer Jones. Pretty much straight out of juniors ends up on that team and, and they build and, and nurture that. And it seems now we've started to lean more towards rearranging the teams. We see skips move to front end. We see that juggling, yes. having that experience and just going from the word go. So instead, these young teams have to stay together, build together and break through on their own. Bit of a mistake by Saskatchewan. When they were sitting shot top four. The call was a guard. They slide into the rings. Ashley Thibodeau will remove the yellow. Looking for the double here. And if anything, the over curl, try to keep the shooter in play. Yep. 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 Oh! Could go big roll behind the corner. And just oh, over the oh, top. Spin it back. And it does spin okay, back. There you go. Oh, I get try. Get through. We need down there. You see the pin there on Marie-France LaRouche for Sandra Schmerler Day yesterday, and what a day it was. Over $1.1 million raised for babies in crisis across Canada. Remarkable. And we thank everyone that was involved. We thank you at home for your generosity. Just outstanding stuff. Look at that number, Kathy. That is remarkable. Well, and it's, it's just become such a big part of this event. And I feel that because, you know, Diane Gushalak, this year we talked about Jocelyn Peterman and Brett Gallant, it hits home. It's not just some babies out there that people really care about, but these are women that are our colleagues. These are women that are competitors that we see on the ice. And you don't think about what they're going through in trying to build their families outside of this sport. And I just feel there's so much love for this event yesterday. And, uh, you know, baby Luke became somebody that we all loved in just watching her story yesterday. And the generosity of Canadians is just really spectacular. Awesome stuff. Skip Stone's here in two. And Scott are finding that draw weight now. That's nice, settles in top eight. Yeah, the logic there, they wanted to get another one in the rings. Quebec sitting third shot back 12. Front end just passing the information up, giving some feedback on what they saw out of the hand. This spot in the ice has gotten really nice. Heard the sixth rock down that path, so you assume that that's kind of full keen. We're not as close together as they look. There's like this I, much between them. I know. I think it's the okay. Okay. Chance here for Laurie St. George. Sure. Double. She okay. might be able to roll behind this corner guard. Try to avoid the jam at the back and sit two. Yeah, Laurie. Might be to sit two. It looks close in the back 12. It's probably an eight. Okay. Okay. I want to keep the shooter around here. Fourth Scotty's appearance for Laurie St. George. Was in the bubble in Calgary, a six and six record back in 2021. And just drives it by that red. We'll clip the red. Back 12. And now definitely Saskatchewan lying the one. They move that side red, so I think Quebec is second. Put up a good guard here, and Roy will need to grab a piece of the hearts for one. You like a straight yes. guard here, Joe? Do you want to cheat on either side of that center line, or does it matter? I think 
you, you want to cheat on the center line side because this corner guard up on the cashmere is in the way for the outturn port. So if anything you want to guard the center line side, you know that they're going to come and chase on that intern side. Nice chance to dial in on draw speed here for Skyler. Skyler goes to the University of Saskatchewan, lives in Saskatoon. An alternate last year in Kamloops for Robin Silvernagle and Team Saskatchewan. And basically, pretty good guard, but the heart's available. Yeah, I wonder if you can play the chase here, Brian. It's uh, that's what they're talking about. Do you think I could try to change that? I think you can. We'll see. Like, I mean, it's fully buried. But it'll it go. Is, I think it'll go. Yeah. Okay. Especially over the line like that. Yeah. Like, we need to curl like, really hard yeah. Yeah. So I come around try. here, just, you have to push just with back ring like weight. It's going to be hard to get like all the way to no, so you got to throw it hard enough to kill it. Get it all the way out of the ring. So this is where we've seen some teams get caught. You have to throw enough weight that if you don't get to the nose, you have enough to move it all the way out of the 12 foot. But often you see that weight a little bit overthrown and it runs straighter than you want. You don't want to kill the break point here. So the key here, you don't want to overthrow it. If you happen to just bump it and, and not quite get it out of the eight foot, at least you still get your one. Like a solid hack? Yeah, I like that. This is a hard shot. You like this call, Kathy? Maybe a fresh path here. I know, it's like tough. Through one in that path, if like, if that control, rock is like, deeper, yeah, but we need to play tight to the guard. No, it's no, not so bad, yeah. but boy, so I think I have that to is bare read nine. plus. Four? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright, let's make it. If you're 95, it's okay. Early in the game, well, you got to be fearless and you got to take your chances if you want to try and make the playoffs and string some wins together. So here in two in a 0-0 game. Final stone, Laurie St. George. By the guard, no problem. Curl enough, move it enough. Hold the shooter. Great shot, Quebec. Laurie St. George up pistol here in two. Just the perfect weight and a lot of credit to Mary Frost. Nailed that line call. Only our second end of the event. Good job. <laughs> Two on the board for Team Quebec. What a start. What a shot. They call her Smiley Laurie, and she's got a big reason to smile early. We're off to a great start here in Calgary.
Welcome back to Winsport in Calgary. Glad you're making us a part of your Monday morning. We're at the Scotties, day four. Family day as well. Uh, the white hats, that's such a part of the tradition here in Calgary. The Calgary Stampede, just a wonderful city. So much to do, close to the mountains. Banff, Canmore, just west of Calgary as well. A wonderful Everybody place to call home, home for the next seven days up to championship weekend and Sunday where we will crown a Scotty's champion. What a great shot back in Tuilerie St. Georges. She saw it, she called it, and she made it for that two nothing advantage. And I just, just want to wrap your head around how hard that shot was. Those finesse weight shots early in the game when the ice isn't fully broken in, even if it's late game and you know exactly where to put the broom and everyone's got their weight styled in, like that's a really tough shot and she just made it perfectly. And that's something we know Lori for. She will go for it for her opportunities and sometimes it, it bites her and she ends up losing big, but she plays to win. She's not playing to keep it close and she's not playing scared and this is always who she's been. Her first Scotties, I think we, we beat them in an extra end and she just, she stood on her head the whole game and, and it was a really tight game and that's of course when I used to play for Team Holman. Okay. Okay. Kathy, update time, and let's check in on Team Canada on the ice this morning against BC and Corinne Brown. Well, Carrie Anderson was lying two in the four-foot made a nice draw on her first, and they were buried, no way to get there, but Corinne Brown came down and made a little bit of a tap. She is not shot, but she has really closed the scoring zone for Carrie Anderson to score two. She needs the hearts. This would be a huge momentum boost for Team Canada. Make this draw. Split the team. In round Split robin the play, guys, that yeah, loss up, was their first yeah, in 18 yeah, games yeah. at the Scotties as the host team, Sturmy, Alberta, able to beat them. Both these teams, two and one records. And wow, Carrie Anderson, right to the hearts. Great Beautiful two. draw. Wait, no kidding, Kathy. Two that is the Throw of a champion right there, a four-time champion consecutive. I see, like, almost all of it. Yeah. Like, you think you can get the nose? Yeah, I feel like I could just get to the inside of yeah. it. Like, with hot. Okay, well, we, uh, control. Okay. Okay, you got it, Em. Kathy, I know Monday's a little early to start talking must win, but for Krista McCarvel and in the pool she's in at one and two, needs a win versus PEI. Well, she certainly does, and on her first one, she tried to block a path for PEI to get to her shot stone, wasn't near it, and a wonderful shot through a hole by Veronica Maines, who throws final stone for PEI, left them lying three. Krista tried to run back, did not make it, and so it is PEI lying two already. This is a draw for three. Oh, oh. Ashley Sipula is on the bench Where? for this game this morning for Northern Ontario. Sabrina. They have the fire player Sabrina. rotation with Andrea Kelly joining the team. Try, and we know the Scotties back Try, to Thunder Bay line. next year as well. Yep. You know that McCarville and company wanting a good showing, and this okay. two. will roll off in just yep. the pair. But a good start for PEI, a 2 nothing advantage as DiCarlo, PEI looking for their first win of the Scots. What was that? A bit of a missed opportunity for Team Saskatch when they were looking to put a hit and roll behind their two corner guards. Didn't get enough curl, ended up rolling out wide. Hard all the way, hard, 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 hard. The other game in action is Newfoundland Labrador, Stacey Curtis, and Caitlin Laws, Team Manitoba. They're all tied up at one. And that's been a story of force force. Another must win situation there for Manitoba Caitlin Laws team. Hi, Fitz. 
Great chance to set up the two here for Team Saskatchewan. If you can. We're back eight already, back 12. Has to slow down here for Ashley Tivano. And we'll stop back 12. That's just a great example of the ice, the differences between the first and the third end. We saw Lori throw to that wing in the first end with a free draw. And hers came down we'll and stopped, so play. Ashley Three went to eight. school and thought, okay, I'll give it a little extra. And, and now it's the third end. There's been enough foot traffic, enough air movement. Things are have keened up quite a bit. Just missed right. a little bit heavy there. Yeah. You see these teams are always watching each other. Emily Riley giving the information of the hog to hog to Marie France, so she has a good idea on what she needs to throw. Back 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 Last Scotties for Marie France was 2016 in Alberta. That was in Grand Prairie. Was an alternate back in 2019, Sydney, Nova Scotia. Yeah, nicely judged Rock here, and nicely thrown by Maddie Fonal. She's not trying to make this freeze on her own. She's trying to just give the ballpark, let the sweepers do the rest. Just had to be shot there. Make sure you're buried. Well done. Good job too by the brushers. They knew exactly what was happening, bouncing a hair, and it bounced a hair. Yeah, especially going to the wing, it's so easy to get really caught up in line as the sweeper. You're trying so hard to make sure that you're on the corner of it, that you're sitting shot. A couple of options here. We come around the corner, try to put a perfect freeze on the rock that was just thrown by Ashley Tivano. But that's a very precise draw. There's only one spot that can be in. So Lori's opting for a bigger window. Come around the center line, just got to get shot buried. The key shot is brought to you by BKT Tires growing together, and it was a beauty, Joe, back in the second. Yeah, she had the option to just draw to the button for one, but saw an opportunity for a difficult two through the perfect weight. The line call was exactly where it needed to be, and just far enough for the two. Great touch shot, perfect weight back in the second. And it's that demeanor, Kathy, we've got to watch this young woman right up through juniors, and she does not seem to have any fear, doesn't worry about losing, Kathy. She seems to play to win all the time, and that will sometimes catch some of the top skips and players off guard a little bit. Well, she plays with a complete sense of freedom. She absolutely loves the game, and she exudes that all of the time and so when you're yes, playing the game because you love the game there isn't that fear of losing and the shot that she called and played and made the key shot is a great example both joe and i said this is a really difficult shot and it was but for her it was the way to score too and so she was like i'm, I'm gonna play this and that's why she makes them shot stone there still team saskatchewan just coming up a bit shy with that draw doing this no yeah I think this is fine and if I end up back here it's not the worst thing is it you don't want to be no but that's better than showing half I think oh no I think let's just go back here okay yeah. I think edge is close okay positive throws it got it let's do it okay I like that yeah probably 14 five yeah this is first one a little bit of, of a stagger here so on the I yellows like top four yeah 
opportunity here for Skylar Ackerman. She can come around. She could be top button here. Put a lot of pressure on Laurie St. George for her last. That there's a red corner guard. That could almost be in the way for the draw for one if this is made well. Talk about Skylar Ackerman's hitting ability. Zeroing in on that draw weight here early. Trying to make it four and zero oh here on this Monday. That is dialed in, draw weight, top four, lovely shot. In the meantime, Kathy, check in again, PEI, Northern Ontario. Shot stone is red. That was just hit by Veronica Mains on her final stone. She faced three on her first, was a little bit deep on her draw. That's why you see the second and third shot stones belonging to Krista McCarville and Northern Ontario. So for Krista trying to poke this stone through the hole, between those two yellows, chance for three. Whoa, whoa, Sarah, no, Sarah, Sarah, Kendra, Kendra, Kendra. 11, Kendra! Scotty's appearance for McCarville. Two silvers, two bronze. Yes, Kendra! Losing in two finals and trying to get back to the playoffs. Here in Calgary, curl up. Where does that shooter go? And a little late on the brush, oh, PEI. That is that is a mistake, I think, that they're going to regret when they watch that later. Got to be ready, Kathy, you know, to get ready to sweep that. Well, and just because it's so close, Brian, for that third point, that brushing right away might have made the difference of a three or a two, but it's a three. <sighs> Such great consistency over the years for McCarville. Last seven appearances, Joe, eight and three, eight and four, eight and four, eight and four, nine and five. Nine and five, yeah, nine same, and five. I mean, red. they come here yeah. and they just find a way. Yeah, they've been so yeah. consistent over the last number of years as a team, and it's just, I don't, they, I've never seen a start like this from them. Yeah. I think I'll just keep a broom on it, maybe a. Really nice display of draw weight from both skips on our sheet. Laurie St. George welding this freeze. I had a 14 8 on that. The speed is nice this morning. So Skylar's going to have to take a wider line here, but just needs full four for two. So Joe, just basically through this shot, but you got to go a bit wider. Does it change things? You heard the sweepers say the same weight, so they assume this whole side is about the same. Final stone here in three and a chance to answer right back with a pair. Scott or Ackerman? Big scrub. They say top four, but that yellow stone approaching, little tap. And just a little bit light. So it'll be the single and the force. Team Quebec, a 2-1 advantage here in Calgary. Larissa St. George with Hammer when we come back to Winsport.
Welcome back to our Scotty's coverage. We are at Canada Olympic Park. And I do not like my chances of going down any of those jumps. We were chatting, Kathy. I think part of our broadcast crew, including Russ and Cheryl Bernard, actually did the bobsled at one point, and it is something else. Well, they did the last time we were here. Our producer, Scott, Cheryl, and Russ went, and I remember Cheryl saying it was the worst, <laughs> most terrifying experience. <laughs> Russ was sure that his back went left somewhere <laughs> at the second jump. It is an awesome venue. We're grateful to be here. And this afternoon, draw eight, Daniel Inglis here for the first time as a skip team Ontario taking on Kate Cameron out of Manitoba. And Vic Roder will be back at 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. So great to have Vic back in the booth as our coverage continues here at the Scotties. That draw weight, Scott or Ackerman was close, had a great draw with her first, couldn't quite get to the hearts with her second, so just a single okay. and a 2-1 advantage here for Quebec. Okay. Stones and four on the way, and it is Quebec throwing the yellow rocks with him. Yeah, her weight was in the ballpark with that last rock, Brian. They just didn't sweep it early. It caught the curl, and once it started, they couldn't stop it. This turn. Kathy, BC, okay. Team Canada okay. over on GT. Yeah, well, for Corinne Brown was trying to freeze on her first one, just grazed a guard, and so Carrie wrapped again. So it is two that Corinne Brown nice faces, good. but it's not enough to come to the face of the shot stone. Because it's right on the lid, she has to tap it back as well in order to score. Nunavut not sending a team this year, so another team added from the Canadian team ranking system. and. That's how Brown got into this competition yep, and trying whoa. to make some noise. Good start, a two and one record. Whoa, whoa. Gotta try yeah. tap that try. enough. Not quite. And it will be the steal of one for Carrie yeah. Anderson, Team Throws Canada. So a two side. point yeah. cushion over on Sheet D. And on our sheet, Laurie St. George not loving all of the, the traffic in the middle here. Despite the fact that they're shot, they decided not to come around the middle situation just because that Saskatchewan Red Rock at the top of the 12 nine, nine. is in such a dangerous Junior, position. So they were nine. just trying to play a cleanup, only got the single peel. Clean. Have you been to Montreal? She's used to the traffic there, trust me. Of course you do. Yeah, you're Scotty's there, 2014. <laughs> And for Lori, she's looking at the scoreboard. She has the hammer and she's up one. So the only thing she really doesn't want to do here is give up the steal. They're happy to score. Whoa. Might even have a chance for a blank here with a few clearing Whoa. shots. Whoa. Whoa. Emily Riley. Nice job. Spills two and look at the shooter spinning. Those lively striking bands and it'll stay in play. Be like instead a guard? Yeah. Are we trying to steal? I like this. Um, blanket was good. I Kay. think you're like 14, low 14s. A couple of options here for Team Saskatchewan. They talked about just throwing a center line guard. I don't mind that call. Wait a little bit before coming around this corner. Yep, they see Quebec either probably play a run back here, keep the blank alive if this is made well. Trying to drag this in for Ashley Tibino. That's a tough miss. Now the, the two is very much alive for Team Quebec. Just don't want to be deep here. And 
this one is a rocket. It will okay. grab some paint. Back 12. You know, surprising this from Marley Fall. She had made a nice come around to the wing in the third end. But sometimes you get a bit fooled. The opposition just missed by a wide margin on the light side, so you add a little extra. Oh, that's a Second chance here to make an adjustment here for Ashley. Competing at the Canadian Under-21 Championship back in 2020 in Langley, BC, was skipping Saskatchewan then, a five and five record. And that will be shot stone behind the corner guards. Good, Ashley. Not three nine. Really good, Ashley, three nine. There's all your action across the sheets of ice. Kathy, anything stand out to you thus far? No, I think that the stories that we've shown in the updates is really indicative. The biggest thing is that in the PEI game, the PEI third is at 38% to Andrea Kelly's 93. That tells you degree of difficulty for Veronica Main. Sounds like Andrea Kelly has arrived at the Scotties, Kathy. She has. Go, 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 every end, go, push! And a great push and a great sweep. That is Shotstone Quebec with Hammer here in four. Just a really nice finish here. Kelly Madaw trying to make this thing curl, but really wants to drag it for distance. She's right behind the rock. Maximum pressure. You can hear, you can hear the effort. And I love that intensity. Plum Sherry, originally from Saskatchewan. Now this forces a really precise yeah. shot out of Skylar Ackerman. She's had to make some tough draws today. Should still be similar. Where does Skylar want to put this, Joe? She's going to try to come around everything here, Brian. The corner freeze right on the side of that yellow rock. It won't give you shot stone if you're Saskatchewan, so the only chance to be shot now is to try to just get half around, back four foot, that yellow in the top of the four. Kathy, just from a strategy standpoint for people watching at home, you never run your Five red four, corner guard yeah. into that mess? No, no, okay. Yep. That was simple, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> As you were. That's the shortest answer I've ever given any question <laughs> you've ever asked. <laughs> well, at least you answered last night. You didn't even answer, so. Uh, here I'm thinking, what did I miss? Oh, line was perfect on that. Just a few feet too heavy. Welcome to the morning show, Joe. See that a little less curl to the wing. Runs a little nicer than towards the middle. Sorry, man. It's okay. Just don't see back. any broom slamming out yeah. of Skylar Ackerman, though. She's so resilient. I think so, huh? Faut être comme back, see, là. Faut qu'on soit back, on n'a pas le choix, tu sais. Faut juste pas être là, même si on est T. Okay. Ça va. Just can't be higher than that one, No, exact. Got it. Exact. Okay. Moi, oui. Okay. Qu'est-ce que tu... Moi, je pense à va curler un peu. Qu'est-ce que tu penses de ici? Back four? Yeah. Okay. If our T is not bad, we just can't be even with the I like this call. Yeah. They're going to go open to back four. Make sure they're sitting two. If they yeah. tried to come around here and bury Back again, yep. try to get the three alive, that's a really precise shot, and you run the risk of chopping off to somewhere really like yeah. there. Whoops, I need a rock. Um, I, I like and leaving a double like for Saskatchewan it. to get out of the end. This is a smart call. A yeah. little bit of room yeah, for error here, too. Could be biting back four foot, full back four, even T-line, they said. We'll play. Big ad. Okay. Lots. I'm good. Mine's good. It's close. All sweeping Curl now. Curl if you can. You heard her say big ad out of her hand. 
Weight looks close. And the weight is very nice. It'll settle. Back four. And with Hammer, Quebec lies to. Really good judge. It's just a great read of the ice and the speed. We haven't seen this side of the sheet coming home yet. So Lori giving it a big add to make sure the life continued there. When you're in a fresh line, you kind of can think they're on your own, knowing that the sweepers can probably watch it late. And sweepers really smart too. They went aggressive on it. Didn't let it start to curl early and die. That's what you expect to see as the week progresses. People watch, they see the tendencies and they zero in. Any higher T-line top four would have left a hit and roll for Skylar Ackerman, but she'll just have to settle for the nose here. Big day for Skylar and her team. Obviously the feature game this morning. Tonight it's Saskatchewan taking on another rookie skip in Selena Sturme, and that'll be the feature on TSN this evening. Saskatchewan, Alberta. And you think about where we are in Calgary and all the Saskatchewan fans, how they travel. It will be an awesome game. Great atmosphere in the building tonight at Winsport. Scott Ackerman, her final stone here in four. They wanted that roll. And there's a little flip. And will it stick around? It is indeed shot stone. It's about as good as you could have done there, Brian. Any further, and you're not sitting shot. That's the best you could have done, yeah. So the little tap is available to score the two. Yeah, and this is a very similar line to what Lori threw in the second end on her tapper on the rock that was fully buried. So she'll have a good idea of how this will run. And no guard to deal with this time out front, so that helps. Yeah, and this is interesting. She could throw it a little harder because she sees just all of it, but she knows how this will run with that hack weight. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like it's going to curl a hair less than... There you see Amber Holland, yeah, Scottish champion for Saskatchewan yeah. 2011, Thanks watching so. in the distance behind the bench as okay, the alternate it? for this team this year. Uh, four? Okay. Yeah. You got it. I'm from one. I'll call. Good. I like it. Final stone here in four. Larissa St. George, a chance yep. to pick up another yep. two, her second deuce of the game. Joanne's favorite clean. word in curling clean. Good. Bang. On the nose, two on the board. What a great start here for Quebec in Calgary on this Monday morning as they now lead by three.
Welcome back to Calgary. The 11th time the Canadian Women's Curling Championship will be decided here in the great province of Alberta. Great to be back in the prairies. Brian Mudrick, Kathy Goche, and Joanne Courtney with you on this Monday morning. Great start for Quebec. You see the pair of twos as Larry St. George scoring a deuce in two, again in four. So here in five, down by three, it is Saskatchewan with Hammer throwing the Red Rocks. And the difference at end, Brian, Mary Frost made a beautiful freeze, almost freeze on her second, and Skyler was forced to a very specific draw, just came up a little heavy, and another precision draw from Lori led to that too. So if you're Saskatchewan, you're really looking for that multiple score here heading into the fifth end break. Try to get within one, keep this game within striking distance. They were down four in their second game to Team Manitoba Laws. That was after the first end and they came back to win it. So lots of fight in this team. Nice curling this morning from Kelly Madaw. Some curling royalty. It's also mom and dad in the house. Wayne and Sherry Madaw cheering on their daughter. And <laughs> Tremendous genetics in that family, that is for sure. Sherry, great player. People forget often that she was the one that lost to Jennifer Jones in the, yeah, final the finals to go to the Olympics that year that Jennifer would win. That was the trials in Winnipeg. And I still think, to this day, Wayne is the only player to win the Briar title at three different positions. It may be. Skip, second, and third. And brilliant at all Unbelievable, of Unbelievable, yeah. And then even after his career, think about the last couple of years uh, coaching Hasselborg and what he brought to that team and his knowledge. Nice little hit and roll behind that corner. Kathy, back to you for the update on Sheet A. Well, I talked about the big difference at the third position with Andrea Kelly at 93% and a struggling third from PEI has really, really made the difference. And Krista McCarville lies three in this end. Veronica tried to go way out in the wings and a new path on her first draw came short. And so now she's trying to promote the stone that she threw on her first into the forefoot against three for the single. Tough shot. Veronica Main throws the fourth rock for this team. Jane DiCarlo, the skip, throws the third stone. And yeah, the angle, not quite there. And where will this end up? Good try. Just It'll on be the a line. Yeah, steal, steal of three. three. Look at that. Set it in harmony. Wow. We should sing. Well, no. <laughs> Maybe not on the air. So Krista McCarville trying to find that form that has made her so consistent. Had a great chat with her, Kathy, before the Scotties. And they take a lot of pride in being a team that doesn't want to travel and doesn't want to be away from family and friends and wants to focus on their life yes. outside of curling. And they're really proud of that fact. It's worked for them, and they've been successful. I mean, you make two finals. Pretty impressive for Krista McCarville and trying to get back to the playoffs here in Calgary. I was about to start picking on Skylar Ackerman. <laughs> She's down three. Has opted to try precision hits to try to generate her two. But a really nice hit made by Taylor Stremick there. It's, this isn't easy to remove for Team Quebec. They have to get to the inside or else they're going to jiggle off of their side yellow. Okay. 
Okay. So, like, hmm? it's better than not hitting it. Well, Mary Frost just getting caught on that inside out. We've seen it run straight for players. This is her first game of the Scotties. And you see as she comes out pretty close to target. She just has this outward motion right as soon as she lets it go and she knows it. If you have that last second, see it goes closer to the center line. It just changes that flight plan for the rock. And, and she knew as soon as she let it go, that, that was not going to curl enough. I remember playing junior and then at Nate so Joe. And the one thing that they tried to teach me with that out turn was to reach out to the broom and actually I would literally shake the air. I would shake the hand like I was shaking the broom's hand to make sure I was on points. And obviously I ended up in the broadcast booth, but I digress. But I mean, you know, there's always little things you gotta continue to work on. That last two feet of the slide, yeah. you can wreck the shot completely. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm very, thanks, Kath, I'm very aware. Well, but just to that point, when you're playing in these big pressure games, you're coming out, you're close to the broom, that's when your brain can get in the way. You think, oh, I want to fix this a little, and, and these tiny adjustments with the hand can make huge differences at the end of the rink. Unfortunately for Saskatchewan, they've left Mary Frost a chance to bail herself out here. They were looking to curl more and get buried under that guard. Chance for yeah. redemption here. Yes. 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 Here comes that red guard for Marie France LaRouche. Got it by one, two, makes the double, and the shooter hangs on as well. C'est bon. What a great shot. Went to school on her first. She'll be happy with that. Shooter did roll though, so opportunity here for Ashley Tivano to, to make a come around. She wants to be top rings, top eight. Don't want to slide deep and leave a freeze chance for Quebec. Girl a little. Yep, hard, hard. Girl if you can. Girl if you can. Gotta go, gotta go. Top eight, have to curl if you can. Gotta go for everything here. Has to curl, want to be shot stone. And it is shot rock for now for Team Saskatchewan. You hear them calling, trying to get the rock to curl, but sweepers couldn't afford to lift their brooms. They, they did well to keep their brooms on the ice with the inside sweeper swinging around to help with that curl. I'm right behind this sheet, Joe, and I have a great vantage point. You can see about half of that red stone. Yeah, the problem is the yellow is on the side of the 12 foot. Just screaming for a jam. If you don't get that curl past the guard like Mary France did, play it tight, you rack on the guard, it's an easy two. She's just scared it's going to go into the yellow. You see avec Pio? On essaie de la faire comme over the guard. Wait, wait. Faut pas qu'elle jam les what do you think here, Kathy? Well, I, I completely understand why she's playing this. As Joe said, if you hit half or a third of that redstone, it's going to direct towards your own. But if you play the run, you have a chance to hit it on the nose, go across the top. You're still lying too. I think Lori's looking in the hack, wondering if she can see. You can see more of the stone in the house. Okay. Just play the chase yeah. now. La chase, that's French for chase it. Yeah, she's been feeling this shot today. That's how she created her first two in the game back in the second end. Well, worst case, I have this and it's two. Now the hard thing with the chase here though is that rock is all the way in the top 12. You have to bump it really far to kill it. Okay. She's had such great you weight control today. Let's go, girl. Hair down. Yeah. 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 Really got Skip go. stones here in five. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa
Now the audible. Oh. Hit it and roll this into the house. Okay, that works. And it did work. Good one. Okay, that works. Yeah, that works. That's a good plan B. We've thrown this path a bit. Yeah, I think and that's straightened out. Yeah, I like that. Looking for the nose yeah. hit here for like, Skylar yeah, Ackerman. No, and Ten, you said? Yeah. I think, I think we threw a few here in the first She's so precise with yeah, these. She had a, yeah. a hit and roll to win the Saskatchewan yeah. final. Okay. Could have drawn, but felt really good about her precision. And that's this, that's her bread and butter. <laughs> okay. Nice done here. Yeah. Deep Let's breath, do it. Buddy. Good time. You got her. Nice opportunity to answer back with two here and five. Ten. Needs to stick this. Little curl to make sure you stick around, and she will to lie too with Hammer here in five. Can't take on the cross house double if you're Laurie St. George because that jam is still very much a possibility. So she's going to try for the long roll. Try to get all the way over to the right hand side of the screen. Trying for the big roll? Yeah, I think we go hard for the rolls. Yeah, I agree. They're gonna go for it. They roll out here and leave an open draw for two. It's either open draw, open hit for two, so no harm in trying. Trying to get the line perfect to roll it over. There's the hit, there's the roll. But it will be a wide open nose hit for Saskatchewan to get within one. That's why I think, I think if anything, just a hair firm. Same thing. Same weight? Yeah. You got her. Two hits, perfect. Needs one here. And pull within one here in our feature at the Scotties. Scott or Ackerman, final Ten stone on the way here in five. Yep, clean, yep. Ten two. Clean, clean. clean. Just clean. Yep, yep. Clean. Ten. Hard. Real hard. Starting a curl. This is taken off of them. Wow, that really took off One. Yeah. and caught them obviously by surprise, just a single. Yeah. Thought they had it halfway down. 4-2, Quebec leads here in Calgary.
What a great place to call home for the next week. Canada Olympic Park, the Wynn Sport Events Center, opened back in 2011. You can see the Canada Sports Hall of Fame there on the right of your screen. Great place to call some curling and the Scotties. Nice start for Laurie St. George here in our feature. And that brings us, Joe, to after five. Yeah, and Laurie's came to play today. She made a brilliant shot for two in the second end. Nice top weight and a simple hit and stay in the fourth after she placed a perfect draw on her first. And the difference here is Skylar Ackerman struggling a little bit. She's made a few nice draws, but looking to zero in and gave up on a chance for two in the fifth there. After five brought to you by PointsBet, the official sports gaming partner of Curling Canada. Amber Holland talking things over with this young team from Saskatchewan trying to battle back. We're in Calgary for the Scotties. We'll step aside. Final five next right here on TSN. The 2024 Scotties Tournament of Hearts is presented by Kruger Products, the softest and strongest supporters for over 40 years. By New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. By Montana's Barbecue and Bar, Canada's home barbecue. And by PointsBet, the official sports gaming partner of Curling Canada. And we're just getting started. That's a lot of fun. The player is having a lot of fun on Pool B. And that's where we'll focus on a little later on. Right now, we've been watching Pool A closely. Top three from each side will advance to go to the playoffs. And remember, no tiebreakers this year. So we've been talking this week about the draw to the button before the game, how critical that is. And it's basically matching up with what the world is doing, the Olympics is doing, so everyone is on the same page. In the meantime, welcome back inside Windsport. Our feature is Quebec and Saskatchewan. And one on the board, and Joe, we were talking about it. It looked out of her hand halfway down that Ackerman had it, and then they just lost it and just settled for that single. Yeah, there was no concern when she I let it go. Up. She's really technically oh, strong great. on those takeouts. And the wider pass. 
I don't know if they had a broom down cleaning it. If they, they might have had their brooms up and it catches just a bit of fresh pebble. She throws a really nice control weight, so you wouldn't expect it to take off like that. Really unfortunate miss. You, you make that, you're within one. Now a two-point deficit without hammer in the sixth is it's not the place you want to be if your team's Saskatchewan. A couple of oopsies here from Kaylin Skinner. You, in the fifth end break, they run a mop up and down the sheet. And you'll often see the first few rocks that sixth end will carry just a little bit better. So both her guards slid onto the rings this end. So that won't help Saskatchewan's case as they try to set up for a steal. Nice, M. That's something for someone who's brand new to the Scotties. It just takes a bit of time to learn. Got to play lead a little bit towards the end of my career and I in the hack after the fifth end break I was thinking a high halfway guard because <laughs> even if it's like that the sweepers can get it there you just never want to slide into the rings as a lead what are the biggest differences in your opinion between those positions lead and second well second throws a lot of takeouts yep. um lead your shots are the same for a lot of the game you're throwing either a guard a draw it used to be a tick but not so much anymore or a, the open takeout so it's a simpler set up but often you end up with the rocks that are mismatched on the sheet because you have more less rocks in play and more room to work with on yours so managing those rocks that are mismatched if you have one that's six feet slower than your others your other that's a real challenge to play with precision still with the five rock roll the no tick zone now lead rock placement is so important and, and you get the garbage down to you don't you the, if you're skip for third you're going to get the shrapnel down to you and, and, and as you should in my opinion you don't want to be leaving that with your second who could be throwing any shot and for them to have to carry the one and okay i need to make this freeze perfect but this one's heavier than that one leave it for the lead where they have more room to work with Every team, of course, has a different setup, though. Some some do leave it with the second because they throw more takeouts, and they try to save that rock for a hit. Hard straight, hard straight, hard straight. You got it. Hard straight. Kathy, get us up to date around Winsport this morning. Well, it's been an interesting game. We talked about Andrea really showing up today, and that's been the biggest difference in that game. But we've seen our feature game so close for Saskatchewan. And in the Curtis game, it is the precision of shots that Stacey Curtis has needed. And that experience of Caitlin Laws doesn't care about what her record is. She's playing in the moment and to win this game. The numbers do not tell the story in percentages for Corinne Brown. She is just grazing off guards, but she is pushing Carrie Anderson, who had to make a run back double against two last in and gave up a steal. That game's all tied. Andrea Kelly, that new piece to the puzzle in Northern Ontario. As they're Looking strong to pick up their second win. Ten points! Ten! Ten! Easy! Ten points! Ten. Easy! Ten. Ashley Tibano for Just Team clean. Saskatchewan out of the new yeah. Tana Curling Club in Saskatoon. Just clean. Just clean. Yeah, Saskatchewan wishes there were some guards in play where they could put some pressure on their opposition and maybe set up a steal, but with those lead rocks sliding in deep, there's Really no option here, so both teams will just play this one out for the blank. If your team St. George, you're pretty happy with this. Kill and end. Maintain that two-point lead with the hammer heading into seven. Same weight! Clean weight! High five! Nine! Mary Frost not loving that slide. Looks like she fixed it, though. The new piece, Kathy, to this Team Quebec team is Jamie Sinclair. She's on the bench for this game, but you know that name from the United States and the competition there as she won three times the USA Women's Curling Championship, seeing her at Worlds in 2019 and 2018. Was born in Alaska, now lives in Ottawa. Obviously grew up curling, playing U Sport in Canada and the under 21s as well. And just that new addition for this team, Kathy. Well, and she had to sit out two years. When you represent one country and you move to another one, the idea is that you don't do that for the purposes of curling. So you sit out for a couple of years. And so last year she was able to play on the Bondsville Trail because you can do whatever you want, essentially, for that. You can take people from anywhere. But she was ineligible to compete in the Quebec playdowns. That's why Marie-France came in and played third. And then 
for Marie, she really wanted to step away from the game a little bit, and so she's agreed to be alternate this year. And I think, honestly, probably came to this event thinking that Jamie would play most of the games. But as so many good teams do, if things aren't just perfect, you rotate and you bring in someone that had chemistry last year, not because Jamie isn't playing well, but just to sh sort of we're shake up the order out, just a little bit. As a youngster in okay. Canada, came up in U Sports. She actually won a gold medal for Carlton skipping there. Played at an under 21, winning a bronze as a skip for Ontario. And then teamed up with Rachel Holman as a lead back in 2007 to win a gold medal at the Canada Winter Games. And obviously back in Canada and will celebrate a birthday on February the 21st, so a couple days from now. You have to see that a new player gets added to a lineup. Like curling's just such a small team game. You change one player and it just changes the whole DNA of the team. And, and often that just takes some time to work out. This team doesn't play a ton on tour, so I would imagine that it may take a little bit longer for this team to hit their stride. Laurie's like, you gotta go, you gotta go, Matty. Well, no better example, Muddy, than last year when Brendan Botcher put that team together. We all thought, wow, they're not gonna lose a game. And they lost a lot of games. And this year, they're a completely different unit. It just takes time to settle. So going with who you know and who you've had success with is a really smart move. And for Jamie, having skipped for so long, moving to third has to be a real challenge. You're used to seeing all those rocks come at you. You can see all the lines. A really good idea how your rock will run. And then all of a sudden, now she's got a sweep. She can't have the same vantage point. It's, it's going to take time to adjust. I was chatting with Rachel Holman about that too with Tracy Fleury. Like you just think it's going to click right away and it takes time. It does take time to, to have that new person tendencies, what you're like on and off the ice and personalities and knowing, you know, what this person's feeling and not taking things personally on the ice at times. And it just takes time. Play it all in for the blank here. Yeah, okay. try again. Banking some time, both teams as well. Final yeah, stone in six. Yeah. Laurie St. George looking for the blank. And that is not what they wanted. It'll touch some paints and a break for Saskatchewan. So a nose hit and the single. She leads by three, but it is Saskatchewan with him when we come back to Calgary.
beautiful family day in Calgary. Why not put on the skis and go for a rip? Or join us in watching the Scotties here inside Windsport. Here's a healthy snack. She's checking out the content. Great to have fans back in the building, Kathy. You know what? The, uh, the, the, the cutouts, yeah, they were okay, but... Awesome hey, to see family and friends here watching the coverage. You're on TV. Oh, that's great. Home of the Calgary Stampede. A lot of fun in the summertime in July here in Calgary. And curling country right now, the Scotties. A 5-2 advantage here for Quebec. And a bit of a error there from the skipper as they tried the blank. Louis St. George, the nose hit. So Saskatchewan, a chance to answer back here in seven with Hammer down by three. Yeah, corner guard went up for Saskatchewan and Kaylin Skinner was playing the come around and just grazed the side and her shooter rolled into the side of the eight foot here. Okay. <laughs> Not an Sorry. automatic no, shot here for Team Quebec. I want to get to the inside. We haven't seen a lot of finesse shots on this side of the sheet going away. Just hack. Yep. Yeah. Hard. Great scrub to hold that line. Oh, Little tap on the red. Uh, okay. Welcome back to the lineup. <laughs> Marie France LaRouche just pounded that stone the whole way down for her skipper. Yeah, they did well to hold that. The call was for hack weight, so you would have expected to see that rock fly out of the rings. When that previously in the week, if they were underthrown like that, they were taking off like crazy. Can't leave the situation in the middle if you're Saskatchewan. So even though they're trailing by three, they're going to go after this run back. The key here is they'd love to keep their shooter around. Run it back and that'll get the granite moving. And just the one now, Stone for Quebec, top four. Just came up a hair at the end. Would have loved to have rolled the shooter a little bit more. here by yeah. Skyler. You could think, oh, let's try that run back again and get rid of shot stone, but make a, make a hit and roll here. If you can get the shooter to spin on, you're sitting second and third, and all of a sudden, Quebec has to be really careful. The three's in play. Even just the hit and roll. Have a couple corners to work with. Taylor Stremick for Team Saskatchewan. And the nose jam. That was the right weight, just not the line. Yeah, those are those are tough. You you can't throw them too hard, and, and sometimes with that lighter weight, once they catch the curl, you can't stop it from curling. Control. Yes. Yes. Yep. Hard M. Hard M. Hard M. Really Whoa. Go Ten. Whoa. Queen, queen, queen. Good, great. No shit, France. Oh, wow. Why? Wow. <laughs> Bad call. Now she's playing great, just coming off the bench and. Get on the top and roll off that. It's yeah. not the worst 
there. Had a few throws she hasn't I loved, but getting something out of every one of her rocks for the most part. Well, I only got half of it though. Okay, Kathy like Goche, update us, sheet D. Well, Corinne Brown tried to run on her first, but she just double nutted it and left. Carrie Anderson and her team lying two buried. Carrie drew in to lie three. They called a timeout, did BC. And Jim Cotter suggested that they go around, and that's what Corinne was trying to do. She had great weight, just grazed that top yellow stone. And so this is partially open for Carrie. A little tricky shot, but a chance for four. In our feature, that shooter will spill out, and now two in the house for Larry St. George. Shannon is just working this. All she's got, what a brush, what a shot. Four for Team Canada on Sheeti. Shannon Burchard should take a huge bow for that, right out of Carey's hand and all the way down. Well thrown, well swept. Yeah, good run. Good call. Ouais. Oh, okay, oh, ouais. Kathy, you did such a good job. We're going to go to sheet <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Caitlin Laws is the shot stone at the back. She was lying three. Stacey Curtis made a double but wasn't able to get shot stone. She has a stone in the eight foot that is protecting a little bit the four foot forcing Caitlin way out in the wings. But Caitlin Laws is a different player today. So frustrated yesterday with draw weight and just wasn't getting results, but was able to park it and has just made so many great shots today. So this is the Caitlin Laws team we're expecting to see it here, is, Kathy? Yeah. It sure is. The question is, is it too late? With only three yep, qualifying. Yep, 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 yep. Hard. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Very nice, straw weight, touching the hearts, and that is a big score. Yep, Up by four, Caitlin Laws. Two-time Olympic gold medalist. The mixed doubles and of course that wonderful win with Jennifer Jones. here for Team Saskatchewan. They're going to try to corner freeze on Shot Rock here. They won't be shot. They'll be second. Is rock placement, though, more important here anyways, though, Joe? Not being shot stone, obviously, just where this goes. Try to get one in here that will be difficult for Team Quebec to remove. This is way out there. T. Yep, yep, yep. Back four sliding. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. And that shot stone, that actually, that almost hit the rock on the left, the high red card, and had a nice finish, though, for Team Saskatchewan. I did not get it, so, yeah. Yeah, pretty good, bud. Yeah, Yeah. Northern Ontario, and Krista McCarver looking strong on sheet A. We just showed you the Caitlin Laws update leading by four. And Gary Anderson looking to rebound. After the loss to Alberta, up 7-3. I think she said nine. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> it's either that or freeze. No, I like we this. We love this. It's yeah. lined up. That's why we played it. Normal? Yeah. Yeah, nice, nice bump by Marley Frost on her last. This would have been... The hey, call Larry, for Team it. Saskatchewan, but this is going all day. This goes on to the Reds. They were trying to play a freeze and the top of the rings just a little bit heavy on Ashley's last. This has made this yellow middle rock will be Normal. fully yep. buried. Skip Stones here at seven. Laurie St. George. Yes. 
tap, red. tap, red goes. They just got it by that red guard. And now live four without here That's in seven. Sweet. Just a great sweep. They called that right out of Lori's hand. Oh. Actually, it's kind of slid at the end. Yeah, it did. Soft throw. I hear that <laughs> soft throw. And those soft throws, they can just go absolutely yeah. sideways. Emily Riley did a great job. Great. Keeping that straight. She has a very quick brush speed. He's two ways to keep a rock straight. There's maximum pressure. <laughs> Look at the reaction. Or they're sweeping as fast as you possibly can to heat up the ice. And Emily does a great job of that. Really, really quick rate. Soft release show. That's just that's just rotation, the pop yeah. out of your hand. Just didn't quite tell it where to go. So we saw one of Marie France's, she popped it. That's that's gonna run really straight. But if you don't tell your rock what to do, if you kinda just open your hand on the surface, that'll take Back off and curl like crazy. I'm good. Back forward. Well Maybe you can use that at times to your advantage, though, if you want a soft release and you really have to get it going, no? Oh, yeah, there's some, some curlers out there, the crafty veterans, that can get <laughs> use it as a weapon when they need it. Yep, 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 go, Larry, go, Larry, go, 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 go. And it's still Quebec, I believe, shot stone. Not that far off for Skyler, just... Oh, oh, two inches less weight and you're a little more buried and your shot stone. Yeah. Even yeah, just six inches less weight and the sweepers can knife it and try to get that to go over more, but a little bit too heavy to work with. Are we agreeing Quebec shot stone here? I think, I think so. so, yeah. To it? You talked about releases and stones like and, you know, it? the rock like selection and scouting and the hey. books on rocks are so important. And you hear of players, shot, eh? some skips like yeah. that cutter, yeah. oh, like okay, a stone yeah. that actually curls okay. more. And as long as you, you know, don't get caught, but it can work to their advantage. Okay. Okay. Speed's really good here. Well, you'll yeah. hear well, like Jennifer 40, Jones often saying, I want the three, I want the four. The, the key is really having confidence in what you believe the rocks will do. Because if you're going to use a stone that you think curls more, Probably not the time to use it if you're going through a tiny port. Looking for the freeze here. This rock, that second shot back, fighting back four is fully buried. That's why they're not trying to remove it. Love to sit too if you're back. And right to that red stone. The force is on. The draw for one here for Team Saskatchewan. I started my clock. I got a 25, but I not taking a ton of ice here, Brian. Looks like they're planning to have ice for the backing if it's needed. This is sweeping weight. I might be a little concerned that it will get curling early. Scott or Ackerman, the draw for the single. The outturn draw, final stone here in seven for the young skip from Saskatchewan. Need the weights. Got to hold the line. Want to be shot stone when it's all said and done. We'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be there. And they are indeed there. Biting the heart single on the board for Team Saskatchewan. Nice draw weight. Scott or Ackerman able to get her one, but she trails. Back. Good sweeping. Good sweeping.
The future of curling on display. Two great young skips going head to head in a 5-3 advantage here for Team Quebec. A nice draw to pick up the single by Scotter Ackerman. So play underway here at eight. It is Quebec leading by two with Hammer throwing the yellow rocks. Yeah, they just needed a half shot out of Lori last end and there would have been an opportunity to generate something, but didn't open the door at all from Team Quebec. That's okay. Mom and Dad would be very proud of those numbers. Outstanding stuff from Kelly Madaw. Stay close, ten, coming off. Stay close, coming off. Clean, yep. Yep. Ten, yep. Hard, buddy. Hard, you gotta go. Hard, Hard. you gotta go. Hard. Hard, no roll. Hard. Hard. Easy, easy. No roll. Six. Six. Uh. Ten, one. Six. We talk a lot about draw yeah. weight and teams kind of puzzling out the ice here. So earlier in this game, we saw lots of draws thrown on this side of the sheet. Speed got really, really nice. Haven't seen anything on this side. And we saw on Kelly Madaw's second rock there, they thought heavy, heavy, heavy. Her rock ended up right here. Brooms were off. So it didn't curl as much as they thought, but heads up from Kelly Madaw, managing those paths on the sheet and making a good guess. You must have went to the uh, Russ Howard School of Telestrating. That was very well done. Very well done. It's my number one goal going into this week. <laughs> to, to learn Get on how to that use it. <laughs> well, you nailed it. And apparently, good telestrating runs in your family here, Joe. Yeah, I, I hopped in on the lesson that Russ gave my son Alex yesterday. He was <laughs> so happy to get that pen out and, and put some rocks all over the place. That's awesome. Does he think it's cool that mom's on TV? Oh yeah, it's funny. I guess my he's staying home while, while I'm here working and my husband said that they got the curling on and he'll hear my voice and look at the TV and say, what's going on here? <laughs> well, I thought he grabbed the TSN microphone and we thought he'd be a great broadcaster. Didn't he say, well, I won't say much or yeah. something like that. He yeah, said, he's a cutie. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Yep, both of you. Yep, 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 yep. Well, Joe, it's been great having you on the morning yeah, show, and we can also yeah, confirm that you did a lot better than this guy. <laughs> Flashback. <laughs> Ron Burgundy was in the house, the trials in Winnipeg. A lot of rich mahogany there between him and Russ Howard. I, I don't think there's that many rocks. He's just showing all the options, Bri. A lot of options. That's actually one of the funnest things I think we've ever had. Him in the booth with Vic Rota and Linda Moore. I mean, it was awesome. Good call, Vic Rota will be back with us this afternoon as well for the coverage. Nice double peel. Made by Emily Riley, but Two, still some work to do if you're Quebec back. trying to defend this lead. Two, one. Needs to curl right now. Line will be okay. Line's good. Two. Yep, gotta go. Gotta go. High two. Hard. Gotta go. Hard. Split the center. Split the Hard. center. Please. Yep, yep. Hard. Gotta go. Keep going. Hard. Keep going. Hard. Hard. Keep going. Hard. Yes, 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 yes. Great brush to get that to that center line, the high guard. Yeah, just seeing that a little bit slower on that side of the sheet still. Whoa! 
I was like, I think I can clean this. <laughs> You're pretty happy if your team Saskatchewan here keep yeah. throwing this center line guard. And St. Georges has the forefoot, but it is on the side of the sheet that she hasn't thrown yet. Anytime you can get your opponent looking at a few late in the game. Hey, all you guys, same path. Three, easy three. early, easy early. Three. 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 Hit. Line's good. Line's good for a three. Ashley Tivino throwing the guard in our Hi, feature Carol. cap. The update time on Hi, GD. Well, Corinne Brown trying to generate some offense, tried to freeze to a Team Canada stone, was picked out by Carrie on the first. And so then Carrie on her final stone drew full 12 in mm. front. It is three right now that Corinne Brown faces, needs hey, full eight foot can. for the single. Carrie Anderson's run, hey, Kathy, of four move. consecutive Scotty's titles insane. The last hey, time. Right. She You're lost two in a row, was actually her first Scotties, 2016. It was in Alberta, in Grand Prairie. Okay. Hasn't lost two in a row since then. And really strong performance bouncing back from that loss to Alberta yesterday up 7-4. Okay. It will finish, yeah. Same thing. Same spot? Yep. Yeah. Come back. This feeds really nice here, bud. Yeah. Yes. Just halfway is good. I don't want to okay. favor that. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, two and a half. Yeah, sweet. So another guard here, Joe. Yeah, and they don't want it too tight to the house. You heard on the mics there. A tight guard, you know that Quebec's going to try the run back and try to get the rock at the top of the forefoot out of the way. So I like this. You go halfway, maybe trick Lori into trying another one of those chases that she's made so many of. This game might get a miss out of there. Key here is line. You want to be fully in front of the rock that's in the top of the forefoot. You know, if you give her a piece Three, on either side, she, she's going to chase it. Probably close to biting. Well, then. Top, top 12. 12. Are you well, too late? Coming down. Three. Well, top 12. Tight. Okay. Tight. Okay. Well, well. Sure. Pass it no. Stop. No. Tight. Is it tight? Yeah, it's very tight. Okay. Probably half in Pass this well. then. Half in this well. Got to sit. Got to sit. 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 When you talk to the rocks, oh, they does listen. it help? Yep, okay. absolutely. Okay, just wanted to confirm. The triple is there? You see it? Pardon? What? I think the triple is there. Let's go, Lori. Okay. Walk off, say flush. Wait. I'm going to run Kay. this rock up to there. Yeah. You got it. That will go girl. over here. This goes over here ish. <laughs> out. Like that. Now you're just showing off. Well, and, and really, if you can get one move in. You're pretty happy for Team Quebec. Definitely want to make some noise in the house. Larry St. George trying to clean up some red granite. Okay. And she'll make two disappear. Shooter rolls across. I wish that one rolled in. I know. But if it's okay. Pressure, Ooh, that works. Huh? <laughs> it's close. It was close. Almost caught their own at the top of the 12 there. On coupe le drum, mais. Ouais, mais là, en jouant là, on sait pas qu'on va prendre. On va jouer tes cartes. Tu sais, ça va être ouvert. Oui. A couple of options here for Team Saskatchewan. <laughs> He could throw another guard and really try for the steal, but they're opting for the more defensive call here, playing the hit. I would argue, I don't know, I like the guard here. Kathy, what do you think? Don't mind the guard. It's eighth end. A steal would put you right back in the game. And at some point you have to decide, yeah, we may give up some, but if you don't start to claw your way back, it, you're running out of time. This is her comfort, though. We've seen her play lots of these hits with lots of precision. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. Yep. Hard. 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 Yep. Roll, 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 roll. Scott Rackerman, the hit, little roll. That's good. And she will lie the two. Yeah, 
Can you double and blank, or you just take your one? Toi, toi, t'aimes mieux faire par tes filles, puis... Je pense so. oui, okay. qu'on veut scorer. Oui, mais on va scorer même si on fait le dos. Oui, je sais, mais il faut que j'en sorte deux, tandis que là, euh, c'est edge on edge. Hein. OK. I think they like scoring here. We'll get the get the point in the in the eighth end. It's the even end. Even if you give up two going away, you're up one with playing ten. I thought she'd be playing the double all day here. The chase is a little dangerous. You rock on the top, could roll out, give up a two steal. She's loved this chase today, though. Kathy, your thoughts. It's tough. I, I think that with the score the way that it is, taking on the double has the least amount of risk. She's a really good hitter. I don't know that you're going to blank by playing the double, but this is a tough shot. And Joe's right. If it curls a little bit too much and you just graze that top one, the potential is to give up two. And you're playing the double. That's not going to happen, you wouldn't think. Board. Yep. Submit up. Yep, yep. Gotta go, Cal. Yes! Gotta go, Cal. Final stone eight. Whoa! Facing two. Whoa, whoa, girl. No, girl! Clean! 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 Yep, yep, yep. Clean, clean, clean. Some clean. tense moments. <laughs> but mission accomplished. The hit, the single, and one on the board for Team Quebec. A 6-3 advantage here at Calgary. You're watching the Scotties on TSN. Monday morning at the Scotties here in Calgary. Glad you're with us for the coverage. Our feature this morning, Quebec, Saskatchewan. As Team Saskatchewan and Scott are 
Ackerman coming in that 3-0 record. But in tough now versus Quebec, Louis St. George. Some nice curling. The single in eight and a three-point lead. Saskatchewan does have hammer here in nine, throwing the Red Stones. Desperate for multiple points here if you're a team Saskatchewan. Mine's good. Team! Are we deeper? Uh, no. Going sideways. Looking to put up two corner guards. Oh, two oh. options here. You can either put a corner guard on either side or put them on the same side and stack them. So have one higher and one closer to the rings. You're opting for stacking the corners. Just it is a precision shot there. Her first one was halfway. It's for Kaylin Skinner and was looking to come closer to the rings there and won't be happy with that result. That's an easy double peel for Team Quebec. The thing I like about stacking those corners, Brian, is that it leaves the other side of the sheet open for the team with hammer. Problem is, it's a little bit more precise. The leads have to navigate their own rocks. Uh, whoa, 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 uh, Maybe we can. here, just here. Yeah, we're there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm. Well, I don't know, Victorisa. Oh. Uh, I think we gotta play that. Northern Ontario yeah. will yeah. pick up win number two, led by Krista McCarville there. Sure. Up yeah. by five. Caitlin Laws also up by three over yeah. Newfoundland and Labrador. Yeah. And you saw some of the updates from Kathy Team Canada yeah. having a really nice bounce back performance after their loss yesterday to Team Alberta. And if you're just joining our coverage, it will be Saskatchewan Girl. versus Alberta tonight in the late feature draw. Hardy gotta go. Hard curl. Hardy gotta go. Gotta go. Really gotta go, Ashley. Really gotta go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Nine, eight. Just, yeah, just big release. Okay. Yeah. As a competitor, Joe, what did you like to do in between draws if you had, you know, a morning, then an afternoon off, and then the evening draw? What would your team do to either reset or refuel? Yeah, often these athletes will fall into a routine and find something that works best for them to recharge the batteries. So as soon as you're off the ice, you want to go and get something to eat to refuel and then take a little rest in the afternoon. Maybe you don't nap necessarily, but kind of shut it down and then restart your day for the evening. Those evening draws sometimes when you have a long gap, you can come out a little flat if you just spend the day doing whatever. So I always like to, you know, to set my alarm for an hour later, even if I don't fall asleep, that's fine. And then once that hour is up, you get up, you get going, get yourself ready to play. I'm assuming the worst was when you had a tough loss and then a bye. And then you're kind of thinking about it. Yeah, this is the best part of the week when you get into the rhythm and you're playing your two games a day. And even that one game a day is in the afternoon, so it kind of fills a lot of it. So you feel like you can get just get in this rhythm. So even if you have a game where your hair off, it's nice you can get right back out there. And if you have a good game, you can start to build some momentum. That was a costly rollout for Team Quebec. If they would have made the hit and stay, they would have been shot. But now with that out of the picture, Saskatchewan has a chance to set up a pretty simple two. Right out of her hand for Marie France. They'll pick her up. And look at the two going towards the center. Excuse me. What do you got for us over on Sheet C, Kathy? I got action is what I got. All Money. right. <laughs> Caitlin Laws is being forced in this end. That redstone that you see was Stacey Curtis's final. She buried it. Very little, if anything, that Caitlin can see. And so this is a draw needs. Full eight foot, even a bite of the four foot to make sure for the single. How's her draw weight look this game? Really good. She's played just completely different than we've seen up until this point. Playing with confidence making right run backs and hits and draws. It's a very different team today. In our feature, a nice draw. Saskatchewan lies two with Hammer. And Caitlin Laws 
See Jocelyn Peterman, the brush down, beautiful. Good draw, wait, the single. And Caitlin Laws leads 7-3 after eight. A couple of options. They talked about a hit and roll off the side. Red one, eliminate one of the Saskatchewan rocks and try to roll in for shot. They talked about playing the freeze to out count the one on the side. Opting instead to rip and open up the front. This is a scoreboard call. Gets yep, the yep, red yep. in the house, yeah, spills really in. Christmas tree? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Sorry? Christmas tree? Yeah. Carrie Anderson settles into the half. Kathy on cheek D. Corinne Brown hit on her final stone. It's the stone to the right of the broom on the center line. She was trying to hit and roll underneath the guards to maybe force Carrie, but she stuck it right there. So Carrie's taking on this. Little thin tick double, chance for two. Do you have to specifically hit one red rock first, Kat? Oh. The higher one. Okay. Girl! Girl! Big girl. weight, Carrie girl. Anderson, her girl. final girl. stone. Girl. Go, 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 go. The red's oh. moving. Look at the action on the shooter, well out of play, but it was enough to get that single, that one yellow, and that yellow, will be yeah. the counter. 8 4 advantage for Team Canada. Oh, hair thinner. Shit. Roll off. No, 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 no. As you would say, Kathy, the shooter was scooching with a lot of speed right out of play. That was warp speed. Player comparisons are brought to you by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. And Joe, we look at the skips. Yeah, and for Skylar, the hits have let her down a little bit today. She had the open hit for two that just overcurled on her. She hasn't been that far off with her draws. It's just Laurie St. George has had the edge. Her drawing today has been outstanding, especially these chase finesse weight hits. Really precise. The 26-year-old skip out of Laval, Quebec. And here we go, another chase for Laurie. A U university yes. student at the University of Montreal taking journalism. Wow. Clean, 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 clean. Yep, yep. She's nice. really loved these shots, Joe, and she has been nailing them all Crazy. game long. Great shot. I think it was a little hot. Oh, no. It definitely was yeah, a little I know. I, I, was like tight and I was like, ew. Okay. <laughs> no, but that was good. Good sweeping. Yeah. That's probably like an 11 even. Shorter cut. There with like hack, yeah. Even if we just uh, of that. just flop to just be shot, like we don't want to roll right under, but just kind of roll the there is pretty good, hey. Eh? Mm -hmm. Or over roll. Or <laughs> it's all about getting better each and every appearance and what you absorb from the events. <laughs> and the last Scotty's finalist, we talked about having that type of leadership on your bench. You can bring in and Marie France Larouche. 2004 made the final bronze medalist as well so since Lori's come on the scene wonderful stuff from that province just it's such a difference if you can go to the Scotties every single year this is the fourth year in a row they've come every time you learn something you have more and more to build off of it's just a great chase by Lori, and the best part is where her shooter stayed. And we'll just keep a broom down on it. And was in Calgary for that bubble, that six and six record we showed you, and what you take from that, and the adversity that everyone at the time was going through. Yeah, as long as we're to the inside. Yeah, and she had some great games, and just something to really catch that fire and, and get obsessed with curling from there. And 
And she's had that belief in herself ever since. We talked about playing a little hit and flop here. They're going to draw instead. They want to be just shot. Get to the inside of the rock on the side of the forefoot. Back eight. Back eight. Well, they're going to th they're gonna tap Stay and try to get Back under. Eight. They don't want to be good. Easy. directly Back under eight. the Quebec Easy stone top four. Skyler Ackerman needs a beauty. Want to be shot stone. This is a big carry to get it in there. Get enough and man, the line was cooking. It looked great and just comes up short. Yeah, you heard the call out of the hand was back eight. So they had to go wider on that shot. Sweepers didn't want to kill it early and just lost it in the end. She has a shot for two? I don't know. The double was rolling out, right? Yeah, I was say, I don't see a shot for two. Maybe it's double. Do I just guard the double run? Time out. Great leadership. The alternate uh, Amber yeah. Holland, the last time Saskatchewan won, it was that woman right there that got it done in 2011. Right. Yeah, really and you look at the performances yeah, yeah. out of that province yeah, so like the last like few here. years. Yeah. Robin Silvernagel, some pretty good success. And then last year, unfortunately, yeah. that two and six record. We need to get more than one. So and this young team more. trying to make some noise in Calgary. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Like that's like if those guards weren't there, right? Like yeah. that's yeah. where you need to hit it. Yeah. So yeah, she's probably going to take that away from me. You might just be forced to yeah. one. But yeah. I guess if she doesn't, then if she comes in tight, I don't. Yeah, is that back one. So we probably don't have a triple. If she leaves you a piece of anything, hey. Yeah, I think that's rolling out. Well, now will be the time. The trip. Gardez celle-là. The next time. Son de force, c'est bon. Oui, c'est ce qu'on veut. Ouais, ben tu peux voir rentrer à moitié caché là. Je l'ai pas. Je pense qu'il est là, puis t'as peur qu'on se donne en trip. Je suis d'accord. Mais si on était capable de rentrer, puis pas se donner en trip, là, il est trois, je l'ai pas, tu sais. Mais oui, je l'ai pas là. Ouais. 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 Ouais, ça c'est sûr. Faut juste que tu viennes un peu plus haut. Ici? Ouais, là c'est bon, je ne l'ai pas. Sinon c'est plus haut si tu vas aller en arrière. Moi je ne l'ai pas. Je ne l'ai pas de l'envoyer sur le bouton. C'est vrai qu'il doit y avoir. On aime ça ici? Elle ne pourra pas faire le triple si tu l'envoies sur le bouton, juste back bouton. Ouais. Juste back bouton, pas de triple. Tu es d'accord? Moi, je l'aime, moi, je l'aime. Like, juste back T un peu. That's the shot they talked about Saskatchewan has for two right now. They we talked about talk coming about around to yeah. here-ish yeah. to block yeah. it, yeah. and they've opted instead yeah. to really yeah. put the pressure yeah. on. Yeah. Whoops, yeah. that's an arrow. Yeah. Okay, we're new at this. Okay. Coming around to back four. All right, well, same way you've been throwing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think you can go a little bit faster, or not. I like 35-40, Kathy, your takeaways. Okay. Well, this is, a, this is about putting for, pressure okay. and, and trying to make this game make put away. We it. saw Saskatchewan last end have the opportunity to put pressure on Quebec and played a more simple game in not throwing the guard. This is the opposite. This is saying to Saskatchewan, we're going to make this really, really, really difficult for you to put it away. If I'm not mistaken, though, Joe Ackerman, kind of the comeback hits, right? They, they've gotten down, given up like four enders in this championship already. Yeah, they, ha they hang in. They, there's no quit in this team. I think it's going to come down. No. <laughs> this is gliding. Okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. So that slides deep, and now... Try it. I think so. I think we have to. Have to play it. You give it a crack. Yep, and you heard Amber in Air the timeout. High. Teams are allowed to converse uh, with their coach and their bench yeah. when the opposition calls it. The three hair high, right? Yeah. Okay. 35. So Big ad. that's... Veteran move oh, by Amber slip. Holland, framing the shot. See, if they leave okay. it for you, you gotta play it. And now okay. there's no debate here Locked for Skyler. So red, red into the crotch, the and then you hope the red driven backstone hits the yellow, red on you yellow, and you it. score your two. Yeah, and for Skyler, she just needs Let's to look at this from the hack and say, yeah. I have to hit this just yeah, a hair high. high of nose. Oh, wait, time. Peel. 
feel. Yeah. A this ton of time so for many. Saskatchewan, I, yeah, so I that's like not an issue. This would be yeah, a huge hair. momentum okay. swing. Yeah. Let's make a good one here. Guys. It'll be just pretty nice for you here. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. yeah. You got it, buddy. Here we go. Deep breath. It would be the shot of the Scotties thus far if she could pull this off. Final stone in yeah, nine. Yep. 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 Scott or Ackerman needs to rattle some rocks with a run back. She'll clip the okay. one yellow, but it will be a steal for Quebec of a single. One, one, one Full credit to Laurie St. George and her team. They played some nice curling here on this Monday morning in Quebec in control in our feature in Calgary as we step aside from the Wind Sport Event Center. Welcome back to our coverage here at the Scotties. Quebec in control, up seven to three. And you saw lead stones, Kelly Madaw just fire them right through. Rocks are not their friends right now with this kind of lead. And for Scotter Ackerman trying to get some rocks up front. Rocks in play, rocks are their friend. To try and find a way to generate four here in this 10th end. Okay. 
And they kind of stagger them again like that that other end, and that's not really their friend. Yeah, the problem, Brian, is that first rock was kind of a halfway guard. So if you're if you're going to stack your corners as a lead, you want that first rock to either be high or tight. When you're in the middle there, it's a lot more precise when you're trying to stack them on the one side. I'd be tempted if I was Saskatchewan in that case, with it being halfway, to just go to the other side where you have a bit more margin to work with. That risk of leaving the double peel is just always going to be there. Even if she's perfect with that yeah. second one and comes Fine. tight, those rocks are pretty yeah. close together. Really tight? Yeah. Okay. Emily Riley fires her through. Kathy, do you even attempt any sort of, uh, like, a, you can't take those reds, I suppose, but you even can. bother? Yeah. like No, because you probably wind up rolling yeah. to a center. So just rip it through. Yeah. yeah. I've seen sometimes when they throw a really tight corner guard, the team will tap it into Mine's the... You tap it into the rings and like roll their shoulder off, like, mix, like, like mixed, mixed doubles. doubles yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then it's fair game. Yeah, I mean oh, it's sure. a little yeah. scary to tap your opponent into the rings, but then you can hit it on the next, knowing that they're going to throw a guard. The but concern you, I'd have is the way they're set up, Joe, and how far they are. Oh, yeah. You wind up just having three guards up there. Yeah, if, if that guard had been tighter, I might have expected to see it. But then it's really important you lose your shooter playing that tick. If you happen to not throw it properly, you can end up nosing them into the rings, leaving your shooter there, and it's a huge disaster. Stacy Curtis getting in the hack, getting settled. Update time on Sheet C, Kathy. Well, and she's looking to play the double. Caitlin had the opportunity to hit to lie two. It did not work out the way that she had hoped. And so she does lie two, but there is a double. Yes! Emily Riley in her feature rattles two reds. Curtis. Got one and she'll jam, so a steal of one for Caitlin Laws, and now an 8 3 advantage. Yep. And that could be handshakes on Sheet C. A bit of a tough schedule for Team Laws. Started with 0 2 and then at the whole day off yesterday. And it is handshakes, so win number one. For Caitlin Laws, Team Manitoba, and Newfoundland Labrador, Stacey Curtis dropping 0 and 3. And a very different Caitlin Laws team, looking very confident and more like themselves. Good Nice throw, Taylor. Kathy, another final and a massive win for Northern Ontario. Well, the biggest difference today was a little bit of confidence once they got up by Krista McCarville's team, but Andrea Kelly played so very well today. And now Quebec is just pretty simple. Rip anything in sight and clean things up here in 10. Our feature sheet, the last sheet. Yep. In play here at Winsport. Glad you're with us on this Monday. And again, Joanne Courtney saves me. There is one more sheet in play on sheet D. It's Team Canada and BC. Back four, I'm here all week, good. Joanne, so <laughs> you'll be busy saving me. Kathy gave up. She just lets me go right under the bus. I was saved you out there. I have my big flags pointing at sheet D for you. Joe is still. Here. Oh, man. And there, proof of life on sheet D. There is a game. <laughs> Corinne Brown did score two, so within two of Team Canada, they are coming home in 10. Anderson yep. with yep. Hammer. Yep. Yep. Clean, 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 clean. Good shot. Good. <laughs> Put the guard back. Yeah, By the way, Kath, your Winnipeg Jets are in action on TSN aware. versus yeah, the, the Calgary Flames this afternoon. Buying? Cross promotion. My uh, my son had the difficult conversation with Carly Burgess because he's here to cheer on Team Manitoba and Jennifer Jones, but the Jets are here and they play this afternoon. As does Team Jones, and he said, "Good luck." He's going to the, he's going to watch the Jets. <laughs> The Scotties this long. Yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of games. And our Jets are doing very well this year. Line's good. Three's good. Where? Three. Okay, room right now. Line's okay. Line's good. Line's good. Three. Line's good. Three. Room. Line's good for three. Okay. Curl, though. Yep. Three. Hard then. Hard then. You got to go. 
You can watch go, that one, go, Kathy. Go, TSN free yeah, in the Jets go, region, go, but you'll be updating go, curling. Yes. So behave. <laughs> Nice last two rocks here from Ashley Tibano. Nice come around the corner, well placed corner guard. Obviously, the game not going the way Saskatchewan wanted, but they have a huge game tonight against Team Alberta. So ending on a high note, it always means something for these teams. Unfortunately for Saskatchewan, running out of rocks and time here in 10, as Quebec will likely hand them their clean. first loss of this yep, year's guys. Yep, 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 yep. Clean, clean, yep, yep, Ellen. clean. Yep. And this one has to be obviously in the paint for Team Saskatchewan. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, same line. Yeah, yeah, just biting's okay. okay. Sounds good. Just a little stickier than the drop half here. Okay, right. two feet or so. Okay, not as sticky as my last one though. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Come on, Ben. Do it. Yeah. Nice hold up well this morning. <laughs> Didn't see a lot of <laughs> complaints about anything <laughs> coming down. <laughs> Skylar was just referencing her shot from last end. She had to go out in the weeds and had to throw it harder, but that's what you would expect. Top four. Scott or Ackerman here in 10 has to have Back this one in the paint. Can we go around? We're back oh, eight. Oh, oh. We back eight. Yeah, go around then. Yeah, we can't oh, touch just it. Leave it. Yep. And this one looks pretty hot okay, right don't now. Don't want to touch it at all. Okay. It's going to be really tight to that. Okay. Oh. Might need a little nudge and it continues to slide and slides right through and team quebec will win larissa george picking up the victory and handing saskatchewan its first loss at this year scotties We talked yeah, off the top about teams working on that draw weight, and this team from Quebec really zeroed in on the finesse, so especially Manny Fonce, so impressive in her first outing at the Scotties this year. Saskatchewan, afternoon off. They're back at it tonight versus Alberta. Guess what, Kathy? There's one more game on the ice. There is. Mike. So we are going to step aside from Calgary, and when we come back, we will check in on BC and Team Canada here at Whitsport. The 2024 Scotties Tournament of Hearts is presented by Scotties Facial Tissue. Unleash the Scotties by Montana's Barbecue and Bar, Canada's home for barbecue. By BKT Tires, growing together. And by Home Hardware, here's how.
She's a competitor, but right now she's mom. There's Jocelyn Peterman, Red Collant in the background. Baby Luke, he was a superstar during Sandra Schmirler Day yesterday. By the way, 1.1 million and change raise for the Sandra Schmirler Foundation. Outstanding stuff. In the meantime, in her feature game, what a performance from that young woman, Laurie St. George in Quebec, a victory over Saskatchewan. And that brings us, Joe, to the game story. Yeah, and Laurie's so good today with her touch weight. And the story here, Hackerman had a chance in the ninth and really tough double run, double attempt. She was close, but not quite. They'll be looking to rebound tonight against Alberta. The game story is brought to you by Montana's Barbecue and Bar, Canada's home for barbecue. Little Hudson, Selena Negevin. You know, it's pretty awesome. You go out there, you give it your all, you compete, but win or lose, you're a little guy or girl, always happy to see you, happy to see mom after a competition. In the meantime, one game remaining, it is BC and Team Canada, 8-6, Canada leads. Canada also with Hammer. Kathy Goche, what's been going on in this end? Well, the play is now in the house. It, there was an attempt by BC and they did have two guards up, but those have been removed. And so now Corinne Brown trying to use the stones that are in the house Hi, to ben. set up a potential. She's trying to freeze there. on the stone that's already there, there so that it would be red, red with yellow right behind it. Hard. Corinne Brown in her third Scotty's appearance. Last saw her in 2021 in the bubble, a four and four record for BC. That was my first thought now that that was Time. Time. And the one time out for Team Canada. And Reed Carruthers, the coach, will come out. She might have a little chaser if we roll in. It's really hard. No, I think so. Okay. Yeah. I think the in, we know it. Well, I guess I we can know play. Both turns. We know both. Yeah, I could play like that bumper weight yeah. with the out. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay. So think of that, you might have to do it twice in a row, but you're going to get to see it. Okay. Yeah, I like bumper? That. seen these timeouts with Team Canada. They, like clockwork, Reed jumps out, doesn't waste any time. Zero in on exactly what the shot is, and they talk through the next shot as well. If BC happens to make a double, what weight they'll have to throw for the hit. So looking for the nose here. Light weight so the sweepers can manage it. Both teams have now used their single timeout. Straightened it a bit Curl, on release up. there. Curl. 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 Kristen Karwacki trying Hard to carve this right over. To right to it. Right to it. Right to it. Keep it yeah, moving yeah, yeah. for your skipper. Roll it. And it'll roll back four. And Team Canada lies too. And that's the, the weight that's selection the there, Brian, is so key because the slower the rock is moving, the more effect you can have trying to carve that over. Kristen Karwacki did a great job. Flip it. Like for the trip, like a triple? Yeah. Is that easier? Uh, I don't mind this. Like You have a lot of it. What kind of weight? You got to throw at least a nine. Okay. Kind of have to play to miss it, right? Unfortunately yeah. for Corinne, like her that? first Double. one okay. curled a little bit too much. It. It's actually in the way. Like an eight? Eight five, pretty I think. Thin. No, what? I'm saying like pretty thin. Eight the raw. Yeah. Thinner. Has to be lying, obviously like at least five, Aaron. two. Okay. Kind of have to play to miss it, right? Yeah. Eight, five. To make carry for throw her last. Just whisker shot rock. She can see the piece she needs, which is not much. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look nice. Nice and But if you get it by that red stone, you've basically made the shot. Heard her play that to miss shot. it. 
Her final stone in 10. Needs a beauty whoa, here whoa. to force Carrie yeah. Anderson to throw her last. Whoa, 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 curl. curl. Little more curl, it hugs that line, clip it, get it, got it. Great shot by Brown in 10 to make Carrie Anderson throw her last. Thanks for throw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. Nice shot. Thanks. Did you throw it? Great throw, wonderful line call. Unfortunately, I didn't overthrow it either. It's an yeah. open hit for Team Canada and Carrie Anderson, as you see with the reaction. Well, make her throw. She won her under 21 Canadian title in Fort McMurray in this province. Corn Brown. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm gonna throw it. And now needs a miss from the four time Canadian champ. Final stone, Carrie Anderson. Make it and bounce back. Yes. Back of the win column Hard. here at the Scotties. Go, Hard. Hard. Hard out of her hand. Karwacki and Burchard trying to hold it. Need to hold the shooter. It rolls and continues to roll. My goodness. That shot from Brown critical. That looks like two, Brian. It does look like a steal of two, and that'll mean an extra end here in Calgary. I like him grabbing and just didn't quite get that release on the line. A massive shot from the BC skip. Extra end next. Calgary Tower, 
iconic building in a wonderful city, one of my favorites in our entire country. Good to be back in the prairies, my home province of Alberta, and we got an extra end cooking here inside Windsport. Corin Brown, what a shot that she made, that double, and then it results in a steal of two, and here we go, Joe, 8-8 tie, coming home in 11. Yeah, and you can hear Carrie, before we went to break there, she said, it just felt like it was grabbing in my hand, and wasn't able to finish her release. That rock curled early out of her hand, and Sweeper's unable to keep it there. Gotta go, guys, gotta go, gotta go. Keep going, keep going, a little further, go, 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 go. Hard, 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 hard. Good. Nice spot. We have the no tick rule for the first time at the Scotties. So guards that are in the free guard zone, if they're touching the center line, line, they cannot be moved yeah. off the center line. Yeah. Line's but great. Plays to the Gotta advantage the of the line. team without okay. hammer. Yeah, that is it for weight. Halfway tight. Kate, we'll Jennifer Armstrong, the import from tight. New Brunswick. Halfway, halfway. Let it sit, let it sit. Want me to go at all? Or, uh, at the Scotties no, no, a couple we'll times just, with just, Andrea just, Kelly. Hey Chelsea Carey is a wild card back in Thunder Bay 2022. This is a shot Shannon Bertrand makes all the time. Known for connecting on oh, these doubles. Girl. Having a great game. And she'll get the one to go. Your BC, you're looking for a little bit more separation on this one. Make that double peel a little bit harder. I asked Renee Sonnenberg, she works with Curling Canada. She's been working in the analytics department for a number of years now. And I said, with this no tick rule, are we seeing a yeah, difference? in the win percentage yeah, it used to be if you had that hammer in the last end and it's you're good. tied the odds of winning it's were through good. the roof and she said it hasn't changed Halfway. a lot you're getting there well, differently it's, it's more interesting yeah, it's but yeah, the team with hammer still has about a 72 percent chance nice of winning nice pair jen just puts that much more pressure on the front ends that's the one keep throwing it yeah that's the one they said you could take a run at the, the double peel here, but you risk jamming it on the Team Canada stone that's on the side of the forefoot. So just playing for the top one. Yep. Yep. Five Scotties appearances, five oh. finals, five championships for Shannon Good. Burchard. Good. Kathy, has it looked like there's been any slowdown in this game? Like 11th end, these high guards can be tricky because <laughs> you're you don't want to be light and off and not make the hog line. No, and I I but don't know, anything. Joe, whether it's because it's the morning. Where? The building's at its coldest. We always say it's that the ice over. is at its best. Over, it's over but nothing anyway. like we saw yesterday afternoon and evening where that center path Sit. got that little bit sticky. It's Kay. it's the same as it was in the beginning. Sorry. Really, really held up. These guards are much closer than BC wanted, so Team Canada is going to take a run at the double peel here. This could be almost a game ender here for Val if she can connect. Yep. Close. Yep. Hard. 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 Nice shot. Nice job by Val Sweeting to open things up for her skip. to get one in there to make her look at two. Like yeah, yeah, I like it. Okay, we saw this on Jens. And there is Chloe right. and Cameron, the twins. Mom is out there battling Team Canada, Carrie Anerson. How cute is that? Watching mom battle, looking for a fifth straight Canadian championship. Always it's tough though. I know you can't go, but I know, I know. I got it. Mine's good. BC not go going up, away in this game. 
Line Remember, hit. Anderson scoring a four and then outscored 5-1 since that point, and this one's got to slow down. You see players get caught in this shot to the wing late in the game. You assume it's going to be slow in the middle. All the slide path, all the foot traffic all game, and okay. just an overthrow there from Aaron Pincott. Right. Just normal, though. Yeah. Same on mine. I think so, yeah. With yes. her two oh, rocks oh. here, Amanda yes. Val can really yes. turn this end around. She opened it up with her yes. first, cleaned up the Hard. top area. And yeah, now she has just anyway. to kind of have a yeah, catcher yep, in the yep, rings. There's some kind of double or spill, and Carrie doesn't have to worry about keeping her shooter. Uh, you just never know when that little yep. biter or something in the weeds That's could me. end up being your saving point. <laughs> you looked at me in the booth like you've been there, done no that, and you know the feeling. <laughs> These extra ends are always tense. Even no guards in play for the team with Hammer, you think they're pretty comfortable, but I think, so. I think you have to go. Yeah. Can't breathe until it's over. And a familiar face, Jim Cotter out of BC, yeah, cool the coach of this team, will come out. Yeah, I think look at two. Your two options are, like, like you said, toward the freeze on that one. You should probably blast it. And then you come around. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah. Freeze on the first? Freeze, yeah. Freeze on the first, blast it, and then. If when you're drawing over here, though, you, you don't want to, like, bury it totally. So if you get make as much the freeze there, and then you give her, like, three floors open, half open kind of thing. So closer to the button, make sure to think about possibly chasing it. Okay. Freeze on the first two shots in her head. Okay, so freeze so, on the first. Yeah, we know this line pretty good. What are you thinking? We've done it a few times. Yep. And with Jim Cotter, one of the nicest men in the sport. here for the guards. Yeah. Yeah. Like kind of right to yeah, nose, like hair, hair low, or like hair on this side. Yeah. 14 and change. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like that line? Yeah. You got it. Talk about genetics. The fifth player for this Corinne Brown team is Jay Lynn Cotter. That's Jim's a hair more than I daughter, who he plays a first. lot of mixed doubles with, and so now he gets to experience a different role in curling. You know, what a great experience for Jalen to get exposed to the Scotty's environment early. And Kathy, Jim talked about that with his daughter and just like you see his eyes light up, yes. like how cool it is to do that with your kid, right? Like pretty special. A smidge less. So to your point, Kathy, it doesn't sound like there's been much slowdown in this game. They're saying a low 14 from hog to hog should be close. Mine's great. Good ad. Hard then. Okay, hard then. Line's great. Line's really good. Hard then. Sweepers pick this yeah. one up hard right line. away. Hard, Sam. Okay, whoa. Okay. 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 15-4. Sorry, guys. Either way, Sweet. yep. Great line. Does it look better the other way? I thought so, but whatever you think. Yeah. Like, because that one's never, I don't want to say never, but it shouldn't be in play. Yeah. But if I get it, even seven eights and just through the hole is pretty good. <coughs> yeah. Right there then. Shouldn't do too much. Nope. You can take that too, it's fine. Yeah. You can't leave that rock there if you're Team Canada. You know, Team Brown will use it as a guard and try to come around. So just talking about the best way to remove it. Look at the yellow rock in the bottom right corner of the screen. There's a risk of jamming this. Yeah, seven eights just through the hole, guys. But more important to get it out of the way. Carrie's such a strong hitter. Just peel this out. Carrie Anderson yep. in 11. Yep. Whoa. 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 And that catcher nice. will go. 
but really not a lot of places for BC to hide. Two rocks to come here in 11. Nice. Or you could try and do the. Well, actually, then at least she has to stick it. Yeah. What do you guys like? I think that's the call. At least she has to stick the hit. Let's just do okay. that. Okay. Draw. Do you want to play the? Pardon me. Kind of roll. Roll to there. Like I, I think we might as well. Okay. Yeah, we've seen this out turn. Yeah. It's like a ten-five. Okay. We talked well about thin, right? Yeah. Two shots here. First, they started talking about just tapping shot rock back and sitting shot in front of it, forcing a precise hit out of Carrie Anderson here. on her last. But it would have just been a peel out for Carrie, and you know she's not going to miss it. So tough to make yeah. this long hit and roll. But if she can get buried, it'll force a draw, something different from Carrie Anderson. Lost their catcher, so she'll have to stick in the house if she goes after a hit. Corinne Brown. Oh. Oh. No, no. Oh, curl. Final oh, stone in 11. Woo! Whoa! Yes! Yes! Woo! Woo! Whoa! 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 Curl! Whoa! 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 You want to go? You want to go? Wanted the hit. Wanted, go. wanted that little to roll go. to a different go. spot. Go, 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 go. And there it is. So it's either the hit or draw for Kerry Anderson. Dealer's choice. And by that ice, it'll be the hit for the single and the win. Really close, just had to curl up a tiny bit more to get a piece under that corner guard. Hey guys, control. Her hit last end got away on her. She'll be looking for the nice release here. Gotta stay. Final stone in 11, open hit, Carrie Anderson. Clean. A chance to rebound. Clean. Clean. After yep. the Clean. loss to Alberta yesterday. Nice nose nice hit, throw. sticks it. And Team Canada, back of the win column here versus BC. Really nice display of resiliency from Team Canada. Carrie obviously not happy having this game to an e go to an extra, but you heard immediately after that miss, they say that's okay. Nice, And they held it together. Good slide. Let it go. Yeah. It's a smile from the four time defending champ as everyone back home. They persevere and come through with a win in an extra against BC. Which brings us to your updated standings on this Monday. You saw in our feature, Ackerman, her first loss to 3-1. Anderson improving to 3-1. And, and Lori St. George, that win. She has a 2-1 record. And we will focus on Pool B later today. The transition to skip has been fun. It's been challenging, but rewarding. I think it sparked a new love for the game for me. The team has been good. We've played a ton, we've traveled a lot. It's a great group of girls, and I'm happy to have these three with me. You can't take anybody for granted at events like this. You've got to be sharp, you've got to be ready at any time. It's going to take every ounce of knowledge and skill that we have in order to make it to the top here. And that is what is next for us. Draw 8, Scotty's Tournament of Hearts, Daniel Inglis, first time here as a skip representing Ontario, taking on Kate Cameron, a 2-0 wrecker out of Manitoba, 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. Vic Roder back in the booth, excited to have Vic back. He'll join Joanne and Kathy and Russ, and that is later this afternoon right here on TSN. Monday at the Scotty's, family day as we will crown a champion here at Winsport on Championship Weekend on Sunday. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching our coverage, the Scotties, right here on TSN.